and welcome to this week's show uh, where we are in 1974 and we are in the capable hands of Edward Woodward, famous to a whole generation of people as um, the equaliser, of course, Robert McCall. But before then, he was Callan, um, a complicated character who had obviously had uh, a previous life in the services um, and had been re uh, recruited. Uh, re-recruited, if you will, uh, to come back and um, finish off a few more jobs for this secret government-connected area uh, department. And so that was his job. Now, there was a television series prior to that, rang from about, what, 1969 to 72, and um, initially in black and white. Uh, they had some colour episodes as well. This was the big screen adaptation, uh, and is in point of fact um, the first ever television episode, and they've recreated it for the big screen. They've made some changes along the way. Um, and from an action point of view, of course, it's outdoors. A lot of it filmed uh, externally, so they needed to bring in uh, up the ante a bit with some action. Um, there in the script is a fight between uh, the two um, individuals in this particular situation, Edward Woodward and the actor Peter Egan, uh, who you may know from the television series Afterlife with Ricky Gervais. Um, there's a fight between them, and of course it's set in a gymnasium. Well, who better at that time to set up and arrange and coordinate a fight than Dougie Robinson, who sadly left us not too long ago. Um, but uh, he was the man responsible for that, so there's that. And then there's a car action sequence. There's a chase um, that happens a little later on, and they bring in uh, Joe Wadham, who uh, had a, an organisation called 99 Cars, or 99 Action Cars. Uh, Joe Wadham, um, for those of you who don't know, was the stunt coordinator on Monte Carlo or Bust, um, was also doubling for Dudley Moore in uh, that particular film, and had a very... A lengthy career uh, driving um, you know vehicles of all shapes and sizes and then because he he had a particular look about him and he was uh, you'll see here that he's always uh, um, he's always in productions whether it be television or film in one shape or form playing a driver playing a policeman playing a soldier whatever it is but he's got a distinctive look so let's take a look at the action and we will start with this so Callum from 1974, it's all go, and it starts off in the gymnasium, and uh, Edward is keeping his hand in, nice bit of shooting there, oh, got a headshot as well, look at that, here's Peter Egan, you'll know him from Ever Decreasing Circles and Afterlife, and they don't get on, there is going to be a tussle, instigated of course by uh, Talon's, uh, Callan's mouth, uh, he can't stop that. Uh, arriving in here, not Peter Egan, but his stunt double, uh, Val Mazzetti, is the guy responsible for doubling him in this. We'll get a picture of Val a bit later on. But again, Val, judo background, um as is uh, Edward Woodward's double, Alan Shunts. We'll get a look at him later as well. Um, over the top, that's very clearly Val. And uh, as we come down there, that's what Val looks like in his motor racing days. Phone books, that all the phone... <laughs> Before Google, before you could Google numbers, look, phone books everywhere so you could find telephone numbers. And that's Alan Shunts, who is doubling Mr. Woodward. Uh, Dougie Robinson is the stunt coordinator here, so very familiar with the type. Look at those shoes. I mean, you wouldn't want to be part of receiving a blow from one of those heels. Um, but, uh, yeah, Dougie Robinson, the stunt coordinator, the fighter ranger, good fight man, great judo guy. And these boys, I mean, this is second nature to them. I mean, they, they really, there's no major issues here whatsoever. It's a, it's well worked out between the two of them. And Dougie, there's throws, and then he returns the favour. Oh, over you go, over the horse. This is the, the, the little part of them at the back. Swings in, and then that's Edward Woodward 
throwing the weapon round, and he drops through a table. End of fight. But it does give him a chance to say this fabulous line. Now, will you shut up? I am tired! Doesn't look like he's tired, to be fair, because he does carry on now with the car chase part portion of the picture. Uh, Joe Wadham is driving the Jag, doubling the actor. Um, a number of doubles involved in this. Um, Joe Wadham's organisation, 99 Cars, 99 Action Cars. Alan Stewart was was quite a, a fair part of that as well. So it it is a possibility that um, that Alan could have been driving the Range Rover, which has now decided to go cross country. Blacked out windows, you'll note, and I think that was the reason for choosing this particular vehicle because of its uh, ability to go across country. Oh, avoid the tractor round the roundabout. A couple of cars here. They'll be driven by Stunties too, as will the tractor. Just squeezes through and out the other side. Catherine Schnell, the actress who is in the passenger seat of that, is um, is that a Mark II? Mark II Jag? Somebody will tell me. And there is Callan, who has decided to pitch up at the end of a road, and he's going to have him. At this point, down comes the car, and he's got to make a sharp right-hand turn to avoid him. And it oversteers and understeers and does everything that you'd expect from a late 60s Mark II, I suppose. Whilst taking out the bus shelter, which I assume was created um, by John Richardson. Turn left, Schneider, old son, turn left. Turns left and then goes through the farmyard, trying to cut him off. The idea is, of course, I think that's probably the idea. They, they go across country through the farmyard out the other side. Um, sadly, when he gets to the point, oh, he just takes the edge off that. When he gets round the corner into the clear, he then discovers that uh, some lunatics put a greenhouse there. Oh, well, needs must crash through there. And uh, just coming out the other side, I didn't wonder if this door had actually caught the windscreen and cracked it or smashed it. Bang! Yeah, there is a hole at the bottom of that windscreen, so it probably was uh, caught on the way out and uh, the whole world collapsing around. Nice to get out the other side. I, I'd like to think they did that in one shot. Allowing the Range Rover to then carry on its way across the field and out the other side where he hopefully will now find... The cows liked it though. Right, out we go. Onto the road and the train line. The train is the key to this whole thing. This particular sequence. He's coming from one direction, and right. What does he do? Well, he waits to see if he is. There he is. That's the car he's chasing. Um, he's got to make a split decision. So the guy has decided, right, I'm going to reverse down the road here and try and cut him off across country. And to get to, there's a level crossing coming up, so he's got to get there. And, of course, uh, Callan will have a little bit of advice. You're never going to make it, Schneider, old son. You're never going to make it. May not. But, of course, you know, driving cars around these little small lanes at speed, speed of a train, accentuates the speed of, of what's going on. This will be all drivers there as well. These are stump boys. And now you see <laughs> he's going, he's going to make it. Will I, will I drop the barrier? No, oh, I've got to drop it. So he has to drop the barrier. And this here, as he slides in, is the only time you see Joe Wadham. Um, there is no other footage of him at all. So it's very well edited. It's very well kept together. The train comes along. The back end is sticking out over the end, and obviously it won't start. Catherine Chanel then decides, right, let's dive across and hope that I don't get hit. And 
bosh, there it is. Spinning around, spinning out of control and ending up in the ditch. Very well done. So there we go. That is it for this week. I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, and uh, if you want to find out uh, what's coming up or what we intend to do or anything about uh, any of the previous videos, then why not subscribe to the channel? Uh, push the notification bell and you'll be told immediately when something new and exciting has dropped. Uh, follow us on the, all the social medias. The link is below in the notes field. So go and check that out. And we'll see you next time for more of the same. Until then, bye for now.